Excel pivot tables. The truth is, pivot tables are one of the easiest features to use in Excel. With just a few click and drag steps, you can create a report using a pivot table that would take days to create using traditional techniques. Let's learn how the magic works. Creating the pivot table. Click on a cell that is part of your data set. Select Insert, Tab, Tables, Group, then Pivotable. In the Create Pivotable dialog box, notice that the selected range is hard-coded to a set number of rows and columns. The potential issue is that if we add more rows of data to the dataset, the pivot table will only view the first set of rows. Making the table dynamic. Cancel the Create Pivotable dialog box and let's back up a couple of steps. Convert the table to an Excel table by pressing Ctrl T and click OK in the Create Table dialog box. Give the table a proper name by selecting Tab Table Design Group Properties and edit the default name. Now let's get back to creating the pivot table. Select Table Design Group Tools then select the Summarize with Pivotable. It's important to note that our range selection is no longer limited to a specific number of rows and columns. The selection is evaluating the name table. In the Create Pivotable dialog box, click OK. We are given an empty pivot table shell, left, and a drag and drop interface for building the report called the field list, right. The gear button can be used to customize the field list interface. The field list presents a list of the headers from the source data. Click and hold the company name entry in the field list and drag it inside the rows. Click and hold the Sales United States Dollars entry in the field list and drag it inside the values. The default aggregation method is to sum the sales. If you would rather count or average, right-click on any sales value in the report and select Summarize Values by and click the desired aggregation method. If you wish to display your calculation results in a different format, such as currency or percentage, right-click on any sales value in the report and select Number Format. This will take you directly to the Number Formatting section of the Format Cells dialog box. Important. Do not select Format Cells from the right-click menu. This would format only the selected cells, not the report results. The advantage of number format is that the formatting extends to new entries as the data grows. This behavior does not occur when using format cells. Global filtering of the report. The field list contains a zone labeled filters. Any field placed here will appear in the upper left corner of the report and provide a filter for the entire report. Any filter used from the filters zone applies to the entire table. Rearranging report fields. If you would rather display each region in the report as separate aggregations, but you don't want to filter for each region, you can drag the region field from the filters zone and drop it into the columns zone. Creating a multi-level report. If you need to create a hierarchical report that breaks a parent item into child items, place the needed field in the same zone as an existing field. Note. The stacking order in the zone determines the parent-child relationship. The hierarchy automatically creates subtotals for each parent-level item. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos and hitting the bell icon.